What exactly is square footage? How is it measured? And how do you find the actual square footage of a co-op or condo apartment in New York City? Are new development square feet measurements always inflated? Let's start with the basics. What is a square foot? Square footage is a two-dimensional measure of space in real estate, meaning that height is not a factor because we're not measuring volume, which would be three-dimensional. The square footage of a room is simply the amount of floor space. The square footage of a typical rectangular-shaped room would be calculated by simply multiplying the length and width of the room. For example, let's say a legal bedroom in New York City must be at least 8 feet by 8 feet in length and width. That means the square footage of a legal bedroom must be 64 square feet at a minimum. How does one figure out the square footage for a co-op apartment? Determining the square footage for a co-op apartment in New York City can be tricky. Square footage figures are rarely published on co-op apartment sales listings because an exact number is rarely listed by an official document. Even the original offering plan for a co-op building will rarely list the square footage of the units. How does one figure out the square footage of a condo apartment? Determining the square footage of a condo is much easier than trying to determine the square footage of a co-op. The condo's original offering plan will normally have the original floor plans and square footages for each unit in the building. In addition, the New York City Department of Finance will list what they call the net square footage of the lot from the condo declaration in each property's most recent Notice of Property Value letter. This letter is a public record that can be found for any real property in the city simply by searching on the New York City Department of Finance website. However, it's important to understand that just because an official square footage is listed in the original offering plan does not mean that there's a standard way of measuring square footage. In fact, the Attorney General's office, which oversees the sale of new developments, allows different methods of measuring square footage as long as the method is disclosed, along with the disclosure that the square footage number may be more than the square footage buyers can actually use. Although not all square footage figures are inflated, the lack of standard measurement process means developers have great flexibility to inflate their unit square footages for marketing purposes. It's fairly common to see developers today measure square footage from the outside of the building's exterior wall. Oftentimes, developers will include an apartment's proportionate share of the building's common elements, such as hallways and the stated square footage. Thinking of buying or selling in New York City? Save money with Houseit, New York City's largest and most trusted for sale by owner and buyer closing credit company. Houseit has saved New Yorkers millions of dollars in commissions since 2014, and we'd love to help you too. Subscribe to our channel and check us out at www.houseit.com.